Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add a quiz to your blogger website. So this quiz is created using HTML, CSS and JavaScript and we are not using any database to store the questions and the answers. So everything is in the front end. So we have been creating this quiz from scratch. So you can watch the complete playlist in the description of this video. So first of all, let me show you a demo of how the quiz looks. We have the start button over here. So you can add the start button anywhere on your post. Now when you click on the start button, we have the main quiz screen over here. And uh, then we can see that we have this question and uh, we have these options over here. And you can select one of these options from here. So let's select the correct one over here and let's click on next. And then we have the next question. I'll just select the correct answer over here as well. And this is the last question. We have three questions in our quiz. So let's click on uh, the wrong answer and uh, let's click on finish. And here we can see we have the result of our uh, quiz. So we have this message over here, congratulations. And we have scored two out of three. And then we also have this uh, retake quiz and close buttons. So let's click on retake. And uh, this time let's go ahead and submit all the wrong answers. So I'll just click on Java and uh, this one right here and uh, this wrong answer right here and then we'll just click on finish and here we can see we have this message called you can do better earlier it was congratulations but now it says you can do better because uh, we have the score of zero so whenever you have a score of less than 60 percent then uh, you will have this message right here and then we can close the quiz right here so that's basically how the quiz works so let's get started <laughs> Now this is the source code of the quiz so we have created everything from scratch in uh, this uh, tutorial series so this is all the source code I have also uploaded this source code on github so I will leave the link in the description of this video so this is the HTML and uh, we have some styling over here and then uh, we also have the JavaScript for the quiz functionality now let me show you how to add and remove quiz uh, questions and options so here I have created this array inside this main.js file so once you download the source code you will get these three files over here so here we have this questions array and in that we have these objects so this is the first object and in each of the objects we have this uh, pattern where we have the question ID then we have the question and then we have an array called options and in that we have options so we have option and the value is Java and then we have another option so in this way you can add multiple options over here you can even add uh, the number of options that you want so if we delete one of these from here it will just show you two options in your quiz so it won't show any errors if you have less than three options so you can decide on the number of options you want to have and then lastly we have the correct answer over here so you can just copy the right answer from here and paste it over here so this is how the question is structured so if you want to add a new question you can just go ahead and uh, after this comma you can go ahead and copy this same thing from here and paste it over here and add your own details the question the options and the correct answer if you want to delete any of these questions you can just go ahead and uh, select the object you want and uh, delete that and it will work all right so that's basically how you add and remove questions and options in this quiz and then here we have all the code for the functionality let me show you some of the important things over here so if we scroll down we can see we have this uh, option to display the result so here you can modify the message that will be displayed on the result and here is the code for calculating the percentage and then here we have this if condition where the percentage is checked and if it is greater than or equal to 60 percent then uh, we have this message right here so you can go ahead and change this value to whatever you want and also you can go ahead and change these messages over here so these two messages are for the heading and then lastly here we have the message that is displayed for the score so it says you have scored and uh, this is the user score variable out of this is uh, the total questions so you can modify these messages and customize this to your needs 
and then here you have the style.css file where you can go ahead and uh, style it to your needs so you can change the colors and fonts and all of those things over here i will leave all that up to you but uh, right now we have a complete quiz ready for you so let me show you how to add this to your blogger post so here i'm in the dashboard of my blogger website so let's go ahead and create a new post so i'll just click on new post and uh, let's add the code first of all let's add this title over here so just type quiz and uh, here you have to make sure that you have to go to the html view by default it will be in the compose view so this is how it will look if you are in the compose view so if you are here then you can go to this option and click on html view so this is where you can add your html code so once you go to the html view just go to the source code and copy everything inside the body so i'll just copy everything from here and uh, till the end of this division right here called quiz overlay you don't have to copy this line of code for the script so just copy this code inside the body and paste it over here so we have copied the HTML for the quiz over here and you can also go ahead and uh, change this text over here for the start button for the quiz info and all of those things over here and once you copied the HTML you have to copy the JavaScript as well so here you have to go ahead and type script and then end the tag over here now inside the script tag you have to add the javascript code so let's go to our source code and let's go to main.js and we'll copy everything from this file right here so once you add your own questions over here you can go ahead and copy everything from here and paste it inside the script tag right now we have copied the html and the javascript now we have to add the link of the image right here so here we can see that in our HTML we have added this uh, image for the crown so if you have added any image in your design then you have to upload it separately in your blogger so I'll just go over here and uh, I'll just make some space and uh, I'll go over here to insert image and click on upload from computer and then click on choose files so this is our quiz project let's go to images and I'll just select this image and click on open and then I'll just select this and click on select and uh, click on original size and click on ok now we have to just copy the link of the image from here so I'll just copy this uh, from here and then paste it over here inside the SRC and then we can just delete this image right here alright so we have added the HTML the JavaScript and also the image so let's click on publish now the next thing you have to do is add the CSS so let's click on theme and then click on this arrow and click on edit HTML and then scroll down and find all the CSS of the theme code so these are all the CSS now this is where the CSS ends it is just before the B skin ends right here so here I'll just add a comment so I have added this comment right here so let's copy the CSS from our source code so I'll just copy everything from here and paste it over here now the next thing you have to do is uh, you have to copy the link of the font so if you scroll up over here we can see that uh, we have used this font called open sans so let's copy the link of the font from Google fonts so here I'll just search for open sans and just select this and I'll just select the regular and uh, the bold from here and then here we can see a link so just copy this link from here and then go over here and uh, go to the start of the theme code and here inside the head tag you have to copy the link of the font so here we can see this is the head tag so here inside this I'll just paste the link of the font and uh, just end it over here like this and whenever you have an ampersand in your uh, link you have to replace that with ampersand amp semicolon right so now let's click on save and everything is updated successfully we don't have any errors so let's go back and let's go to posts and let's click on view on this quiz and here we can see we have the start button right here and uh, we have the info of the quiz let's open the quiz and see whether it works let's click on start quiz 
and uh, we have the quiz screen over here we have the options the questions and all of those now the text color of the options is not completely black so we have to change that so right click over here and click on inspect so this is for the label so for the label we have to set the color of the text to black so we'll just keep that in mind right so now let's go ahead and uh, select an option from here and then click on next let's select an option from here and click on next and let's select an option from here and click on finish and uh, we can see that our result is being displayed over here and uh, we can also change the color of this text over here but I'll just keep it as it is and we have some problems with this close button it is not exactly round so let's right click over here and click on inspect and uh, let's see what we can do I think there are some problems with the padding so let's increase this or maybe 18 or uh, 16 pixels so we have to change the padding of the close button to 16 18 pixels and then we have to change the color of the text for the options so let's go back and uh, let's go to theme and then click on edit HTML so let's go to the CSS so here's the close button let's go ahead and change this to 16 18 and then let's go ahead and find the label I think this is the label so let's go ahead and uh, change the color to black let's save it and uh, let's refresh our page and let's click on start quiz and we have the correct color for our options let's select an option and click on next let's select another option click on next and uh, then let's click on an option click on finish and we can see that the result is being displayed over here and uh, even the close button is tiled correctly so let's retake so here we have the result everything is working all right so that's basically how you add a quiz to your blogger website I will leave the link of the source code and also the tutorial series in the description of this video so if you have any doubts you can ask them in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day